Welcome to the Texas Hotspot. Today is no ordinary day for the Chili Head. We woke up today and it was National Hot Sauce Day. Now, for the normal person, that might not be such a big deal. National Hot Sauce Day. Okay, I'll throw some Tabasco on my chicken. Or I'll go in there and get the Texas Pete. And I'll put some Texas Pete on my eggs this morning for some National Hot Sauce Day. No, no, no. That's not what we do. National Hot Sauce Day for the hot sauce producers or the hobbyist who likes to make hot sauce in their kitchen like we're going to do today. It's a really special day. We love making hot sauce. It's such a fun thing to do. Um, and I thought, what better way to celebrate National Hot Sauce Day than to come on here live with a couple friends and make a hot sauce. Show you my steps, my process, step by step, how I do things when I make a hot sauce. And maybe that can help you out later on down the line when you decide to make a hot sauce. I see we got, what's up, Midge? Midge is in the house. All right, let's move on. Welcome to my kitchen. You are in my kitchen. You're seeing the backdrop of my living room and all that stuff, but I am in my kitchen. I got a couple things already going on, but before we continue, let's bring in our guests. Our first guest, he's been here with us since day one of Friday Night Fire. This is not Friday Night Fire, obviously, because today is Sunday, but he's our co-host and he's always here. We love him. Let's bring in Brand. What's up, buddy boy? What's up, bud? How you doing? I'm doing great, man. That's what I'm talking about, dude. A great day. A great day for celebration of the things that we love the most. Hot sauce. Hot sauce, man. I mean. I love hot sauce, man. I love hot sauce. It, you know, doesn't it? I love go? making sauce, bro. That's what we're going to be doing today. You're going to be making some sauce. I'm going to be hanging out. Yeah. And we also got another friend in the basement waiting for us. What 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 what? He's here, and we love him. He's been here honestly. He's a regular. He's officially moved from a guest to a regular on on Texas Hot Spot. Let's bring him in. It's Pepper Bay. What's up, Pepper Bay? What's up, Pepper Bay? What's going on, guys? Now I'm glad you're here, Pepper Bay, because as I go through this process, in case I may be a dipshit. I mean, I know how to make a sauce. It's been a while. But in case I'm like being a dipshit or something, or see, or you know, Brandon too. If you see something that, not only if I'm doing it wrong, which I shouldn't, by the way, I shouldn't do anything wrong today. Everything should be by the book. But maybe you might have some more insight or more knowledge to drop on. Yeah, you know, there is no literal book on making hot <laughs> sauce, and everybody has an opinion. So you yeah. know, this is so just. I'm gonna. Uh, be I will sit back as I do this, and I will take constructive criticism from both Brandon and any other guest that decides to join us. And Chris, uh, any more knowledge that you have to drop on a certain topic as we go, you guys are more than welcome to chime in with that, just to help more people out. And by the end of this, by the end of this live, if you're watching, everybody should be able to know how to make a basic hot sauce in your house now before we get started there's a few things i need to go over for everyone to understand this is not a usda or fda approved kitchen this is not that this is not yeah that's not what we're doing here guys we're, we're this is for your own personal use you know i'm doing this for the hobby and i'll probably give a few out to some of my friends but I will not be selling this in stores for public release. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because right off the bat, Different. right off the bat, <laughs> if I was planning on doing this commercially, I'm doing it all wrong. <laughs> so right away, this is a hobby video of something that if you're bored one weekend and you have all the ingredients that I'm about to show you in your kitchen, you can make your own hot sauce and give to your friends. Um, mm -hmm. You need to make sure that you follow the steps that we have. Yeah, we don't want to make anyone video. sick. You know, you can do it. You can do it the right way and you can do it the wrong way. We're going to do it the right way in home <laughs> yeah. and not get anyone sick. 
Yeah, this is not... definitely not a USDA approved space. This is my kitchen. Illegal. Illegal. <laughs> so, just so you guys know, I will be making a six bottle batch sauce today for six bottles. Oh, you got some beer there? Did you want to chug a beer what? real quick? Were we I did want to chug a beer real quick. Before I cook some sauce, but I mean, let's do it, guys. Let's do it. I'm, I'm down like a clown. I guess we're going to chug a beer before I start cooking <laughs> sauce. Uh, what? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> All right. I guess we're just going to chug a beer first before I start cooking hot sauce. Is this like TV oh, MA or? We, uh, we have another guest in the basement. Let's bring him in real quick. He doesn't have much time. What's up, Mitch? What's up? I'm to Cheers. I wish I had a beer. I have to leave right now, though, but uh, just wanted to say hi. We love you, buddy. We do. We, do. Love, we you. love you. We hope you have fun. <laughs> Love we're you too. Be making some hot sauce. I wish you were here for this one, man, because you obviously uh, know how to make hot sauce. But we'll miss you. We understand. What are you doing, just so people can know that make hot sauce? What are you doing right now? I'm going down yeah. to the commercial kitchen to. Uh... You release a commercially released hot sauce. Yeah. All right. See, that would be yeah. the proper way to do it. If you have your own business, go down. Inspect the uh, inspect the kitchen. Make sure their their sanitation is up to par, and make sure that you uh, are cooking your sauce in a nice. Make sure to <laughs> wash your hands after you smoke your cigarettes, guys. Exactly. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, Mitch, you love you, buddy. Love you too. All right, this one's we're cheers into hot sauce, guys. Cheers yeah, to hot sauce. sauce. Cheers. Oof. Delicious. Wow. Mm -hmm. Look at these. Changy chili fusion. Those look bomb. Those look pretty good. We'll probably try those out a little later. All right. So, before we get started, I wanted to go to Brandon and then to Chris. Brandon first. What's the first thing you do when you when you start to make hot sauce? <laughs> I wash my hands. And then, and well, no, 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 I'm not even making it. Like, if you were sitting there and you said, "I'm gonna make a hot sauce," this is just a this is just an opinion. This is not a correct answer. You're sitting there and you're just sitting in your chair and you're like, "I'm gonna make a hot sauce." What's the first thing you do, Brandon? Well, I figure Ooh. out what kind of base I want in my sauce, like carrot, tomato, pepper base. I mean, the options are. Almost endless. All right. So, Pepper Bay, you're sitting there drinking a beer, and you're like, you know what? I'm going to make a hot sauce. What's the first thing you do, buddy? Uh, I'd probably say the same thing. I, I, I would figure out if it's going to be a sweet or a savory. Sweet or savory. That's another uh, one. Yeah, yeah. That's that's a different that's, a one that's different. Two different answers have, there. You can have a bunch of fruit in your hot sauce to make it a sweet nice tasting dessert sauce or something, you know, you put, or if you want to go the complete opposite spectrum of the taste, we go savory where it has no sweets, no fruits, no nothing, just that savory carrots, onions, tomatoes, all that savory stuff that you got. So that's what I did. Remember when we were talking earlier, we thought we that, remember? Talked earlier today. Do you, you remember? Know, we talked earlier and we said, well, what are we going to make? And today, we are going to be making a tomato-based hot sauce. Now, savory. It's a savory sauce. Now, what I'm about to do is I'm about to go through my ingredients list with all of you. And before I do this, I apologize for any shaky camera angles, but I'm about to take my camera off. And I'm going to go through all my ingredients list with all the viewers just to let you know what's going in today's sauce. So here we go. I'm going to take it off of here. We're going to turn this thing around. Does everybody see this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so these are the ingredients of my sauce. We're going to go this over all it. Laid out. We're going to go over it. Yeah, I, pre I obviously prepped it a little bit. Looks good. I, yeah. if I, can fl I can't flip this That's around. Some... I wish I could flip that around. That'd be cool, right? Yeah. That's some nice-ass uh, mise en place, my guy. 
Yeah, so yeah, mise en place, everything in its place. You, we want to make you sure. You can so look around, Zach, but it's a pain in the butt. You got to go into your settings. and, and Yeah, I'm not going to do it. You guys can see what I'm pointing at. You guys can see what I'm pointing at, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, look, I got a little bit of water here. Okay. I got tomato, tomato sauce here. Boom. Just strain crushed yep. tomatoes kind of? Yep, just tomato sauce you get from the store. This is tomato paste. Boom. Boom. That's Boom, like right. a concentrated tomato. Right here are all my spices. I got I got a something yum black garlic spot uh pow. Oh, shit, I made that. You did. I got Bob's habanero <laughs> sea, sea salt. Awesome. That's uh from Bob the Voice. I got yeah. some sugar. I got some sugar here. Yep, to balance that out, you so, know, you can... You know what? If you guys are actually at home over that. following, if you're at home following along, I got about a tablespoon of hot pow, a tablespoon of Bob's sea salt, I got about a teaspoon and a half of sugar, and about a teaspoon and a half of black Gar black pepper. Garlic pow. Oh. I don't have any garlic pow yet. Garlic pow will will come in later on if I really need it. We'll we'll talk about additives at the end here. So then I got about a half cup of freshly diced carrots. Nice. Carrots are nice. I got about four to five cloves of freshly cut garlic. Oh, there you go. There's your garlic. I got a jar here of black garlic that we're going to do something fun with. I made that too. I got <laughs> five mixed super hot peppers from Jeff Remmer. Nice. All right. Squad I got peppers. a cup of freshly diced onion. I got a cup of freshly diced tomato. I got my funnels. I got my thermometer. That's important. I got my thermometer. And of course, you need a pH balance tester. You, you need you need test. that if you're gonna you need that if you're gonna be giving it to other people and shipping if you're it. Gonna be, yeah, and I'm gonna give it to my friends. I don't want to get my friends sick. If you're gonna be shipping it to other people, get a pH tester. They're not that expensive. They're not. And, and also, They're not. really we just CYA, sure have, you know. We want to make sure we have some olive oil. Little bit of olive oil. Now, and what what does it have to be under as far as pH level? So pH Anybody? balances on sauces need under. to be below 4.0. Needs to be below 4.0. If, if it's not below 4.0, it's do gonna not be shelf sell that stable. sauce. Do not give it out. And you know, honestly, when we get into cooking this, I'll get into more of like how long you need to leave it at this temperature to make mm. sure you kill all the microorganisms and all the bacteria and all the little things that can hurt you. Right Yippers. now, ladies and gentlemen, if you look, I have all of my kitchen utensils that I'm using in a vat of boiling water with sterilized solution in it. This needs to be all so any utensil you're what do you using, got some sand star or something? Look, any I'm using a microblader, so I'm put uh, that's in there boiling. I'm using my uh immersion blender that's in there boiling. Oh, look, yeah. I'm using this whisk and it's hot as fuck and it's in there boiling. <laughs> So everything is in there boiling at a temperature. Sorry. Above. Temperature of 250 degrees to 270 degrees. That's the degrees that you need to kill all of these microorganisms at. Murder. So with that's the temperature. Always take temperatures of stuff. I already took the temperature of my sanitizing solution. And it's at a good 260. We're good. We are sanitizing. See, and that's another thing we can hit on just real briefly. You don't need to use a sanitizing solution. You can use plain water. Just as long as it's boiling water. water. As long as it's I boiling myself, hot. I myself, I have a, I have some sanitizing solution, so I used it. But boiling got? water is just fine. What do you it's use? Still, can you show us what you longer. use? Huh? Can you show us what you use? That, oh, shit. Where'd it go? You, you got me on the spot. That's what I was. That's where I was going toward. <laughs> you don't have to show us. I have no idea where I put it, dude. That's what I'm saying. You don't need just water. My sterilizing you, solution. You can use just water. You can use water. You can use a little bleach in there if you really want to. I have no idea. There's this I stuff put, called uh, Sandstar that everyone uses also. That a lot of people you use. Want, yeah, but you don't yeah, need yeah. it. You don't. You need don't it. need it. Just boil, boil it to 250 degrees. You're good. Yep, that'll right, kill off the next any thing kind I of germs. I want to go over before we start even remotely getting into this. Your kitchen surfaces. Every Should be surface, clean. 
every surface of your kitchen that you're cooking on, around, using, you got to sanitize and antibacterial that thing, man. You need to clean every surface. My entire stove, I already cleaned. And now there's a couple things that I'm not going to show you on this video because it's just time consuming. But we're going to tell you. You need to sanitize and disinfect your surrounding kitchen areas, your your counters, your we, cutting boards. We just really want to put it into your head. We don't want to make anyone sick. So anything you can do to prevent that, go ahead and just do it. It's not going to hurt nothing to Look, take that extra step to make sure everything's clean. And, an easy yeah, yeah, spray. There you go. An easy spray just like this. Spray it. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Let it do its thing. And Come clean back and all, wipe it all down. Every surface. Easy day. The pot that I'm using to cook my sauce in, I sterilized it. It's sterilized. It's ready to go. Uh, uh, some uh, some newer washing machines also have a sanitized setting on them, where Absolutely. you can run a load of dishes and Ooh. actually sanitize them. Absolutely. What? Yep. New I did not know that. Again, I want to hit on this again very hard for the people watching at home. Hard. You need <laughs> to sterilize and sanitize and disinfect everything you're going to be using. Everything. It also Funnel. includes it also includes the hot Boom. sauce bottles. Bottles, so, yes. Just uh just real quick um if anybody wants to know what happens when you don't do that, you can go ahead and look up Typhoid Mary um, and learn about somebody who didn't care about cleanliness with food and what that did to the entire country. Yeah. Pretty interesting story. So these, are, <laughs> these are my hot sauce bottles I'm using. I already sterilized them. As you can see, they still got a little bit of the sterilization in it, a little bit of the... Uh, when you sterilize a bottle, you can kind of see like some steam in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I boil mine. I just straight up boil mine. And you can just boil them. That's it. Uh, yeah, yeah. you want to leave each bottle in for a minute, two At minutes. 250 degrees, yep. that pretty much kills anything. You'll be mm -hmm. good to go. That's all you got to do. So I already sterilized. I rotate them. I've sterilized all of my surfaces. Get I've them sterilized out, my bottles. Up, put it in. I'm sterilizing my, my utensils like right now. So we're going to go ahead and turn that off because my utensils are sterilized. And we're going to start getting into cooking this sauce. Is everybody ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put you back here. And we're going to kind of try to get you on a nice... Let's see if I can do it this way better. All right, can everybody see the pot? I can yeah, see the pot. That looks good. I can see into the pot, too, which is yeah, good. Yeah, so you can see just a little bit into the pot. Sweet. I can see all of your beard right, as well. So now, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put an apron on. See, that's that's a personal choice. I, uh, you know. That's just for me. Yeah, that's for me. <laughs> so I'm going to put this apron on. You wouldn't you, catch I, me dead in an apron, bud. You guys, you guys might not see my face for the rest of this uh, stream. And hey, another good thing would be uh, if you do have a bunch of facial hair, a beard net might be good too. A beard yeah, net. I, I was just going to mention those, that. So yeah. I don't have one of those, so I'll stand back a little bit. Don't worry. It'll be. It'll be all right. Mom, can you tie this for me? It's, it's all your beard hairs is randomly yeah. falling out all the time. That's oh, one thing. It one is. thing I do when I'm like, when I have a cooking job is oh, okay. do, I brush my hair before I go into the shift. Yeah. Brush my beard out. You know, it's. There's there's a sense of professionalism there, yeah, you know. And as long as you upkeep yourself like that, it you really shouldn't be an you issue. You should be all right. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? If you're making a hot sauce for your friends, if they find a random little piece of hair up in their sauce, it would be cool if they just <laughs> shut the fuck up about it and grow up. I mean, we're, <laughs> both, we're all adults. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, the next thing I'm gonna do. <laughs> the next thing I'm gonna do. I'm getting ready to cook a sauce. What do I do, Brandon? Uh, I would I would start throwing some ingredients together, bud. Well, man, my hands might be dirty. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Wash. I mean, you should have your hands washed by now. But they if might you're... be dirty because I was holding my dirty. phone and I was talking to y'all. All right, That's... yeah, yeah. Wash them again. Might as well. Listen to this, guys. I know people that watch it. Wash your dirty fucking hands when you make a song. <laughs> Please wash your hands. I mean, that's wash a basic your dirty fucking minimum hands. I'm shit, talking dude. like all the way up. Hey, wash all the way up your arm, too, just for the fuck of it. So I'm going to go do that. You guys talk. And no yeah, long I mean, nails. It's, it's sh We shouldn't have to say anything, but I'm sure that, uh, you know, we'll be glad we did. You know? We'll be glad we did. Yeah, don't, you're right. Don't. Don't be just, it's better to be safe than sorry. Because, you know, sometimes that's why you can't eat at everybody's house. You cannot eat at everybody's you house. You can't eat at everybody's house. Yeah, wash your dirty fucking hands. All right. I washed my hands. My hands are washed. And from this point on, I'm going to Start making a sauce. We'll stop here. We'll stop there. If you guys want to stop me, just say, hey, stop. Uh, I, I'm in, like I said, I'm in for anything you guys want to add or if I'm doing something wrong. But right now, I'm going to turn I'd get, it on. You know what I would start with, Zach? Your aromatics, no. bud. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with some oil. There you go. There you go. A little bit of so, oil in my pot. We're talking you about gotta take Start with that base flavor. So anything that's going to get toasted off or... Or golden browned, or take a long time oil. to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my aromatics, and what that means is exactly what it means. The stuff is going to smell good. <laughs> is what that would be your onions, your carrots. So right now, right now, I'm putting the oil on about a tablespoon of oil. I'm putting it on about a medium high heat. I want, I want to sweat these onions. And I okay. want to kind of, I want to sweat the onions. I want to sweat the carrots. I want to sweat the garlic. And I'm going to put in, so I'm going to put them all in an order of how long I want them to cook. I want the onions to cook the longest, but not at the high. We don't want to burn these onions. Eventually, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little bit of crust at the bottom mm. with the tomato paste. And then Some we're going to deglaze that a little bit after that. So Some fond. Hey, Zach, what, what oil are you using? This is a Bertoli's extra virgin olive oil. Not well, necessary, guys. You don't need to get fancy with the extra. You can use vegetable oil. You could use you yeah. can use vegetable oil. I don't actually I don't use any oil in any of my sauces. I don't use oil in my shit. I use a but little bit of oil. I you do can. I use about a tablespoon of oil just to get them onions and carrots and the garlic and everything exactly what sure, it needs to be. Sure. So right now I'm just letting that oil get nice and hot. When I put them carrots in. I want to hear them. I want to hear a. That's what I want to hear, man. I want to hear the carrots going in and being happy. Being oh, a yeah. happy carrot. Carrot applause. Being a happy onion. So we're going to do the <laughs> onions first. This is about a cup of onions. You guys, uh, yellow onion. All right. Is it sweet or just regular yeah, yellow? Yeah, onion? Yellow, yellow onions have more of a sweeter flavor. All right. Well, I see two different kinds of yellow onion in my place. Sweet yellow, and it's just about, yellow. yeah, it's, it's it's a sweet yellow. They're sweet. All right, we're still warming that oil up because I do. Mm. I really, I really want to hear it. I want to hear it. Let it get, let it, let it get up to temp there. Almost here, because if I just put these oil, if I just put these onions in with that oil and it's not hot, then it's just gonna be oil covered onions. So the a great a great way to. Uh, to do that is to get it to what's called smoking, where your oil is smoking. There it is. Uh, you just get a slight little Here we go. Uh, from the oil, and that means it's time and ready to go. Did you yeah. guys hear that? Oh, I did hear that. Ah. I'm going to take, take a wooden spoon straight out. Look, it's straight out of my sanitation. My wooden spoon. And now I'm going to start stirring those onions up. You guys can talk if you want. Yeah, it's pretty simple, guys. It's just cooking, basically. It's one of my favorite noises right there. We want to evenly yes, coat yes. these onions. Now we kind of want to turn the heat down a little bit. Not a lot, a little bit. We don't want to burn these onions. Yeah, yeah. We, we just want to get some uh, color on them onions there. Get to <laughs> get it cooking. That's what we're doing. We're just basically cooking. 
So the onion should really be in here for a good 10, 15 minutes. We want to sweat them. The onions aren't going to be done until they're nice and translucent. You can kind of see through them. This ain't the cooking network either, guys. Like, just look at your food and watch what it's doing. Don't rush the shit. <laughs> you know, it takes just time. be knowledgeable, guys. Come on. <laughs> Come on. You should watch. You could watch the Food Network, though. That's some good inspiration there. Oh, yeah. All right, let's go to the chat real quick. Who do we got in the chat? We got Double End in the chat. What's up? We got Groovy Lava, Lava Squirrel Medic. Murder What's sauce. Up, What's up, uh, Crazy J? Yeah, man, we're making a sauce. Hey, Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic is here. What's up, Groovy? We're making a sauce, man. <laughs> National Hot Sauce Day. Just hanging out. It's going to be a little while. We're, you know, we're just sweating some onions right now. Oh, yeah. So it doesn't matter. Another good thing you guys need to know. It doesn't matter how you dice your onions or carrots or anything, because this shit's going to get blended up. Immersion it's get blender blended style. Up with either a blender or an immersion blender. That's how the I big, like to do it. The immersion blender. Yeah. The biggest I'm, reason I'm why Zach is. Sauce today with an immersion blender. Biggest reason why Zach has chopped everything up is just yeah. so surface area happens Again, on the cooking, so it takes little, everything can happen a little bit faster. Why so it's possible. Well, and everything needs to cook evenly, too. If you have huge chunks and small chunks, they're going to cook differently. That's what I would... That was right, the one so the thing I recommend. It doesn't matter about, what size, as long as it's all cut the same. The onions have been going for about a minute and a half, almost two minutes. But I really also want to make sure that these hard carrots get a little tender also. So we're going to throw these... We're going to throw this half cup of carrots in there to start sweating with the onions. Yeah, carrots take a minute. So the carrots are going in with a good the onions. Minute or two. And I see uh, Chris has a chug ready to go. I mean, go ahead, Chris. I can't, I'm, I'm cooking. I can't get drunk. <laughs> so, good. so we got some onions. We got some carrots in there. We're going to let this sit for a little bit and just start getting that oil, cooking them up, getting them soft. We don't want no uh, crunchy, crunchy stuff when we blend this up. And look, oh, we got true. Dave Rot in the house. What's up? What's going on, Dave? Yeah, I, I actually what just recently just did a, a uh, what do you call ah, it? Ah, uh, you got a new bar. A carrot-based hot sauce just recently. And it's basically, I, I just went and grabbed a couple bags of baby carrots. And, uh peaches and all sorts of stuff you know you just let your imaginations go wild guys and you didn't even have to cut the carrots up beforehand either because you used baby carrots that was genius bro i'm not gonna lie I actually like, when i saw that i was like oh shit carrots. that is smart i did not cut the carrots i was like i'm just gonna roast these fuckers until they're fork tender boom yeah, and that's another thing. You can you don't have to do it in a pot. It's this. There ain't no book on this shit, guys. Like, I you All like right. the oven roasting fire All broiling. Right, we're moving on. Hold on, we're moving on. We got the onions. We got the carrots. They've been in there for about two minutes, three minutes. The garlic's been in there for about three, four minutes. Now I'm gonna or the the carrots. Now I'm gonna throw the garlic in. Garlic's going in. You don't want to put your garlic in first because nobody likes burnt garlic. Hell no. Nobody. Nobody likes burnt garlic. I like black <laughs> garlic or like roasted garlic, but I don't like burnt garlic. It tastes like shit. So now the garlic has gone in. We're going to let that marinate. And you know what I don't in. like also, though? Raw garlic. So make sure to cook your garlic. So this is what bit. we're getting. Beautiful coloring. Beautiful. We're gonna keep it going, guys. We're gonna keep it going. Let that oil get in there with it. So yeah, I was just saying, Zach. You know, you don't have to just. It doesn't have to all be on a stove pot. You know, stove top in a pot. You can do it. You know, you can roast ingredients, uh, grill them on your grill. Absolutely. Uh, mm. Outside, smoke them, Ooh. or there's all sorts of options. So Groovy said, Groovy says he wants to try a beet sauce. That's a good idea. Somebody make a beet sauce and call it borscht. Do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, black gar. Hey, uh, 
Brandon, correct double N. Correct him real quick. No, uh, black garlic is actually kind of like a Maillard reaction going on. It's uh, it's just very, very deeply caramelized garlic. That was a big word, Maillard. That that's that is a that is. It's a sort of. It's actually black garlic. It's weird. It's it's like a fermentation and a Maillard reaction in one. Badass. Pretty cool. Very unique flavor. I, dude, for real, right. now I really want to make a beet sauce. I'm not even going right, to lie. Now, Here we go. We're moving on. Some, some of these steps we got to keep moving on. We got the garlic. We got the carrots. We got the onion. And it's all coated in oil. And it's getting nice and soft. We're getting sweating on the onions. The carrots are looking pretty good. Hey, how's that smelling? I, I wish it's starting to smell. It. smell. Really it's good. It does smell amazing. Point. My wife is here to attest. So Dave's asking, what are we making? Uh, Dave, it's National Hot Sauce Day. We're making a basic hot sauce for everybody to follow along. If you go back to the beginning, uh, you can see what we're working with. But uh, we got some, uh, that, we got some onions, so, carrots, and garlic in there right now. That's about it. Onions, carrots, and garlic. And a little so bit of oil. what I'm looking for here is a nice browning on the bottom. Browning. On the bottom of the pan. That's that's what we're going to deglaze later on. But first, I need to add some seasonings to this. So the first thing I'm going to add is my salt. And I have a tablespoon of Bob's sea salt right here. Bob's habanero sea salt. I might not put all of this in there. I'm kind of eyeballing it because I know what I'm doing here. So it's about maybe... A little less than a tablespoon is what I need for this one, I think. Now, I'm going to put a teaspoon of sugar. Yes, sugar. The sugar is going to help this stick to the bottom to where I can deglaze it. We're going to caramelize the hell out of this stuff with this sugar. I think it's important to note, up until this point, Zach was stirring periodically, so nothing was sticking to the pan. You're just getting a nice browning to where there isn't any sticking going yes. on. Because if that stick happens too long, you're going to get a bitterness in the sauce that you don't want and you, you can't get rid of. So Exactly. But now I want sticking, so I added that sugar. Boom. Here's, here's a, table, a teaspoon of black, freshly black pepper. Put that in there, too. Yep. Freshly blacked pepper, guys. Get it cracked. And then uh, I do have another spice, but we'll add that later because I don't want to die. <laughs> <laughs> We'll oh, that, that stuff's no, got right now, a salt, bunch of shit in it, too. Salt, like Chinese sugar, spice, that spice, all sorts of good stuff. The sugar is going to help caramelize the garlic, the onions, and the and the carrots. And we're going to start sticking. Here we go. This is what I want. Look at the bottom of this pan now. Well, if you, oh, oh. Let me show you the bottom. Now we're starting to stick. Oh, yeah, a little bit of brown there. I see I want, it. Yeah, now I want some sticky brown stuff. I want that to stick to the bottom of my pan. It looks like it's burning, but we're not burning anything. I just want that and, and leave it. Look, you think you want to stir it? Nah, man, leave it. Let it let it caramelize. Let it do its thing. Let it, let it stick to the bottom of that pan because we're about to add... Right now, to help it stick more, tomato paste. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, That'll add the, some. Now, when rich, I add this tomato er, paste, deepness to it. it's going to start to stick to the some bottom deepness. as well, creating that delicious, so deep. delicious stuff I'm going to deglaze later. Yeah, so that's going to add a real deep, I'm gonna add deep some deepness to this sauce there. It's going to. Add some real good flavors. See, look, right, we're just we building, layering flavors. Base. Now we stir it all layers. up again. Getting that work like an onion, layers. Into that mixture. <laughs> like an onion. 100%. Look how dark that got, guys, just now. Boom. So we're looking at, this is what you need to be looking at here. Shit, that looks good, dude. We're going to keep that going. Let it stick to the bottom here. Let me show you the bottom. Let me show you the bottom in the middle of this pan. You're going to be like, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what you're looking for. We it's want like it sticking. 
We're about to deglaze it with tomato sauce and a little bit of water. Cut that shit up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is a tomato-based sauce. Hey, Groovy Groovy says, fuck, this makes me hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sticking. It smells good. Oh, shit. You know what this makes me? I got some cheese up in the some spicy cheese outside. What? I'm going to go get some, I think. Is All that right, some brand enjoy ready? cheese? Yeah. Oh, my. You should do a shark bite. Dude, look at the bottom of this pan, guys. You're almost <laughs> there. You're getting there. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for them crusties at the bottom that I can deglaze. That's just going to add flavor to this sauce. It's going to be crazy. So we're just letting this sit. Now, in order to let this sit, you're supposed to let it sit for about 10 minutes. So it's only been about four to five minutes right now. I need to let this sit a little longer. I need to let this get softer. I need to let this cake on the bottom a little bit. All right, I'm going to grab burning. my cheese real quick. We're not, I very clear, guys, we're not burning this. If you're bur if it looks like it's burning and blackening on the bottom, turn your heat down and take it off of that heat until it's nice and regulated. I'm not burning anything in this pot. This is just nice and charred. Never try to nice rush it. If you're trying to build flavor, never try to rush it. Ever. Never rush it. High heat. Is bad stuff, dude. We want medium. We want a medium heat when we're going through this one. Medium high if you have to, but even that's kind of dangerous territory. Mm -hmm. Low and slow, baby. Low and slow. Let it sit there for a while and think about what it's done. <laughs> the sauce is in trouble. You gotta let it know what it did. Yeah, let it sit. Let it sit there for a minute. Think about what it's done, man. It's a it's been a bad boy. <laughs> Okay, so at this point, I got about four minutes left before I start deglazing this pot. Now I'm going to add these tomatoes. Oh, yeah. These are just, now that's the last thing I'm adding. I don't want to overcook tomatoes. They're already soft. So I don't really want to overcook them. Yeah, the skin on my beef. But we got about five minutes left on this. I'm adding these tomatoes now. It'll be one of the last things I add to my sauce is these tomatoes as long as well as these super hot peppers. But the super hot peppers are going to go in right before we mix this thing up. And some people may ask why you put in uh, fresh tomatoes after you already put in tomato paste. But so everybody knows that's a reintroduction of moisture into the pan right there to help with that deglazing process. And not only that, but there's a different flavor you get from fresh tomatoes. It's a nice brightness that you're also going to add to that sauce flavor just because you just did that. Nice. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you being here. All right. We got about a couple more minutes left on this. I'm gonna, I have to let those tomatoes cook a little bit or they're just going to be tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, we we partially deglazed the bottom of this, but not enough. And that's where this comes in here in a couple minutes. So we're doing good. We're doing good. So in the pot, we're about halfway there. We're about halfway there. We're looking at a nice tomato-based sauce right now. We got onions, we got carrots, we got garlic, we got habanero salt. We got freshly ground black pepper. We got tomatoes. A little bit of when you put those in uh, peppers in, the peppers are gonna go in. I don't. Uh, they're gonna go in after I deglaze the pot. Because if I put the peppers or that hot pow in right now, and how hot this is in here, I'm gonna fucking smoke my whole kitchen out. <laughs> so we're gonna put the. We're gonna put the. I would add those in like now if I, it no, was me. I, yeah, you can't. Hey, hey, you can add them in now, but make sure you got something to cover your mouth. <laughs> you got a gas mask or something for sure. You can add them in now. I like to add fresh peppers whenever. Really, just don't do it and, first. And if you're gonna do that, open the windows. You know, <laughs> definitely create some ventilation going on. So I've got some uh, pretty cool stuff here. This is some. Uh... 
habanero cheese. All right, so this is what we're looking at right here. This is my base. Take a bite out of that like McGruff, my guy. Oh, I bet it would be delicious. It would be like a nice stew. Oh, yeah. The, That's a good so, base for sure. Let me show you what the bottom of my can is looking like, guys. And you guys are going to be like, hell yeah. All that good oh, stuff yeah. at the bottom of that pan right there. Those little bitsies. Mm. It's gonna, yeah, it's going to deglaze and be delicious here in a sec. Zach, do you mind? Do you mind, bud? What is that? It's a block of cheese. He's going to do oh, a shark oh, bite. Oh, oh, you're going to take a shark bite? Yeah. yeah. Why Just right for, now? Just for funsies. All right, he's going to take a shark bite. Of what? Of uh, Brandon Joy, Joy cheese. cheese. Oh, you're gonna That's hate probably that. so hot, dude. So hot. Even oh, hot banana, I'm sure that's hot. That's pretty hot. That's oh. hot. <laughs> Good. Good cheese. Woo. Good quality cheese, right on. Huh? Oh, no. Brandon Joy can make some cheese. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Yummy. A1. Is it hot? Eh. It is the habanero one. He does some. He does some like seven pot ones. He does some crazy level ones. I got so. a reaper one. Too, but I'm not gonna do All that right, right guys, now. we're moving on to the next step, and the next step is one of the best steps, in my opinion. That's deglazing this pan. So what show I got the, for deglazing this pan. Show them the fond real quick. Show them the fond that's built up now. Oh, okay. Yeah, let me show you what's Bro, going on. Bro, Brandon, you are using some beautiful cooking words today. I love it. Hey, you know, I just wanted to teach. This is the right terminology, guys. That's that brown bits on the bottom in French terminology. It's called fond, and it's like really delicious. I'm I'm so impressed right now. I'm not even yeah, gonna lie. No, 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 no. That looks Brandon, great. Brandon knows his cooking words, and this is called fond. That's Very the, delicious. That's, oh, by the way, that's just on the bottom of the pan. That's what it's supposed to look like. Hell yeah. when, you, when you add that, you know, you're going to want to scrape all those little tiny bits off. All right, here we hey, go. Don't get rid of them. Don't That's get rid of them. Great glazing is. I am deglazing with some tomato sauce here. Tomato should, sauce mixed with a little bit of water. Here we go. Should hit with a little bit of a tss. Deglazed. Oh, yeah. There you go. And now we mix it and we scrape off those things from the bottom with our wooden spoon. Yeah. Scrape those little fucking bits. We scrape the bottom <laughs> with a wooden spoon. <laughs> Get all those little. We're getting all of that tasty fond that Brandon gave us the word for. Thank you, Brandon. Oh yeah. Brandon gave us the word fond from that. We're we're getting all that. We're we're stirring it up. I am running <laughs> my wooden spoon across the bottom of this pan to get it all up and mixed into that sauce. So, Zach, would you say you're pretty fond of that flavor? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so, we are now turning, look, now I'm turning up the heat a little bit to get this thing a little boiling. I want to see some, I want to see some bubbles now. Pop, 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 pop. I want to get this thing, actually, what I really want to do is I want to get this to 180 degrees before I even start thinking about immersion blending it. Why there, is a safe, there is a safe temperature that you need to worry about when cooking sauce. And I would, just to be safe, a lot of people say 165. I'm going to say 180. All right, bud. I'm going to say good. 180. Now... Now we got to add the super hots. And I got a bunch of nice super hots from my buddy Jeff Remmer. So, off screen, or actually probably on screen. I can take you guys out real quick. On screen, I'm going to de-seed and de-stem these real quick. Whoops. Maybe. Maybe. Can you see it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you can see it. All right, so I'm going to de-seed and de-stem these real quick. All right, while we're doing that, guys, let's just uh, critique uh, Chef Goot's knife skills here. What is it? 
cut the cut the tops off the stems you can peel the stems off also if you really want to but i like to cut them off so i got a little entry point to get the stems out you notice how zach doesn't have his pointer finger on the uh crest of the blade oh yeah curl the fingers always when you're cutting i i hate it when i see people with that that finger on top of the knife like this it's like oh you're gonna slice your finger for sure All right, so now i got a pepper here it's full of stems what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this seeds. over to the sink. Or, yeah, it's full of seeds. My bad. I'm going to bring this over to the sink. And I'm going to literally pluck my pinky in there and run it around inside that pepper till all them stems are out of it. Pinky's out. Get your You're pinkies right. in those holes. I'll show you in a sec what it looks like. <laughs> oh, no. We're just going to mix super hots. Damn, that uh, cheese is actually pretty spicy. Oh, it's creeping up on you a little bit. Yeah. All right. This is what it looks like. After I was done, I've de-seeded and de-stemmed this pepper. Same thing with this one. I'm going to get my finger in there, wriggle it around under cold water. I'm going to get rid of all the seeds. It's optional. I hate seedy sauces, so it's a good option. Some people leave yeah, them in. If, if you're going to include your seeds, you really have to be super, super like on top of like using the emulsion blender or whatever blender you're using so that that doesn't so, happen. So this one, this one kind of broke open. That's fine. I got all the seeds out. Same thing. Those are uh, free, uh, frozen fresh peppers, yes? Frozen, fresh frozen peppers. Wow, why does he sound weird? I don't know. It sounds like an alien movie happening right now. Though. Know, it just started, right? Oh, you sound like you sound like an alien too, though. What's going on? Huh? Who left? So, hey, try to come back in. There. Do I do? Do I sound like an alien? Hey, do I? Sound like an alien? I'm scared. I don't want to be spying. Hold on, I'm coming, guys. I'm just getting the seeds up of these peppers right now. We're about to add these super hot peppers to the sauce. Oh, I was gonna add, add your beautiful. Add them in. Hi. So I think it's Zach's audio. I think it is Zach. Something's going on. Do I sound like an alien? Real bit. There's, there's a little crrr, like there's a crackling sound like alien the movie. I wonder what the hell's going on with that. Maybe the camera can tell that it's so spicy. It is spicy. It is spicy. How did you know? <laughs> <laughs> It's not bad though, Zach. I think you're good, bud. Oh, I sound better now. Yeah, not bad. All right, so look, I de-seeded these super hot peppers. Now I'm just gonna cut them up. I'm actually gonna layer them one on top of another, just like this. You go oh, the yeah. placenta of these peppers. There's still some seeds in this one. That's another technique. Just layer all these guys. Just lay them on top of each other. That way you only have to chop it once instead of like eight peppers. Chop it into, I would say, like a medium dice, but it doesn't really matter because we're going to. You emulsion blender it anyway. Fuck it. Yeah, we're going to emulsion blend this thing. So look, I just kind of cut them up into a real simple small dice or medium dice. Now I'm going to take these hot super hots and I'm going to throw them in the sauce. I appreciate how you're not wearing gloves. Oh. You didn't mean to do that, folks. I'm just over here eating some spicy cheese, pepper base over there looking handsome. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll get uh, some hot sauce to do a shot of. My bad, smoke? guys. Does he smoke this cheese? Do you know? Oh, why is this not? You get the smokiness in this Thank you. <laughs> Help. All right, we're getting back to this camera angle of the sauce. My bad, guys. 
Can you guys see this? Yep. So I just added the super hots. It stinks. Now, Brandon. Yeah. I'm about to add the something young. Oh. Black garlic pow. That's going to be tasty. This is the super hot pow made from our boy Brandon up there. All of it. That's All got like a, a bunch of Asian y uh, flavors in it. Quiet. Did you turn your volume down? No. Yep. There they are. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. We couldn't hear you. So now I got a nice stew. I got a nice looking like a stew right now because I haven't blended anything. Yeah, that looks pretty thick. But don't worry, Ooh. Brandon, because when your sauce is a little thick, guess what you do? Oh, it smells oh like yeah, yeah. Meat. See, there you go. Have water ready, guys. You're going to want to add a little bit of water. Yeah, that sauce is looking pretty thick, which is good, you but you don't want to you you blend it. You know? Nice and You can always thick. add water after you blend it up. Got to see the uh, texture and consistency first. Mm. So right How now, those carrots? Are those carrots nice and soft yet? Are they fork tender? Bro, they are definitely soft. But I forgot. Look at this, Brandon. You're going to love this. I got oh, shit. Microphone. I forgot about that, too. A little bit of black garlic here. I made that. From Brandon Collins. Black garlic, guys. That's our secret ingredient for this today's sauce. A little bit of black garlic we're going to put into our sauce. We're going to microblade this black garlic into the sauce. Shit. So I'm going to take a piece of black garlic. Is it working? I'm just going to microblade this thing into the sauce. Is it working? Yeah, of course it's working. Hell yeah. You know what? Not really. So let me go get that. Hold on. I knew I. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Let me go get the black garlic pow that I made from your black garlic. Yeah, yeah. While he's doing that, I'm gonna do a shot of hot sauce. I'll do a couple of these probably. Fat dogs, honey flavored sriracha. I love honey. Mm -hmm. This was a gift from 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 Jif. I love it honey. They, they call me the honey boy. Hi, Anna. Work. Hi. Hey, it's Anna. Banana. Oh, that's yummy. Anna Banana, everybody. I'm just supervising. Hey, have you seen the fifth element? Huh? You seen the fifth element? Yeah. You look super green today. Me? Uh, it's because I haven't washed my hair in a week. Super green. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby Rock. It, look, it kind of was working. Kind of. That smells like shit. Oh. It, smells, it just smells spicy. All right. Black garlic pow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Anna says it smells like shit. Zach, are you doing hot. it right? All, all it smells like is super hot. Which from smelling good. That's it's funny. Super hot. <laughs> you should have put oh, a fresh no. packy in it. Oh yeah, it's pouring out. What's all going on? Here. Stop. Oh no. Yeah, you put a hole in the bottom of it. Did I? Yep, right there. Well, that's good. Black oh, garlic powder. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't overdo it, that stuff. That shit's that smells potent. Like it smells like Funyun. Yeah, Ooh. it does. <laughs> Yummy. It smells like Worcestershire sauce, kind of. Wash your sister. I won't. <laughs> All right, black garlic pile just went in. <laughs> Here we go. Now... We're going to immerse and blend this whole fucking thing together. Shit. Oh, my temp is good. But yeah, we, we have, make sure you check your temp. Make sure your temp that is That is so good. It's 
spicy. I'm already at 206 degrees on this, so we're good. You're good. If it's boiling, you're probably good. Yep. So no bacteria is living in this. They got evicted. It does smell spicy. It was a fire sale. I love it. It's a fire sale. I want a little bit more black garlic, pal. That cheese that must be good, good, bro. You're going to town on that cheese. <laughs> I made that. I made that stuff. All right. I've added my black pow. That black garlic takes about a month to make. My black garlic pow is added. Ryan. I'm going to blend up my sauce, guys. Ryan, are you watching? I'm going to blend up my me, sauce. Buddy? Here we go. My immersion blender has been sitting in the disinfecting stuff this whole time. Here we go. Put the immersion blender in the sauce. Mute as, it's yourself. Boiling, as it's boiling. Whoa, 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 whoa. You might want to hook it up right first. And we blend. Oh, yeah. It's getting nice and smooth. Now, it's getting real thick. So as I'm draw that water, right? As I'm blending, I'm going to add some water. If you're worried about your pH level, you can always add some vinegar in this process instead of water if you want to. You can also put boiling water in to not compromise the temperature of your sauce. Another great point, brother. Yeah, vinegar is it's good a too. Thick. You got some vin in there? Or what? Are you gonna put some vin? Nope, no vin. Tomato based only. I don't know if you're gonna get it under four. Yeah, right. <laughs> <That's> vinegar. <laughs> we'll see though, because we have that acidic. Any lemon juice or anything we're using in there? Tomatoes are pretty acidic. It is? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Damn, that's looking like some hot sauce almost. Voila. Yeah, right? Wasn't that so easy? Now. I freaking love making sauce. Now. Brandon Collins, can you talk us through the process of hot bottling? Yeah, you're going to boil your bottles, and then yep. you want your sauce to be hot, too. And then you're going to fill up your hot bottles with your hot sauce and then cap it and flip the bottle over in order to explode, expose the foamy sealer dealy to the hot sauce to sterilize that. Thank it's all you. easy. All right. So, look, that's hot. Just bottling. keep everything hot. That's hot bottling. I'm going to show you how to cold pool bottle. I like hot bottling. That's just me. Hey, you guys, unfortunately, bottle. let me get you guys back over. Oh, we got guests. Let me bring them in. Oh, we had. Oh, that was for you guys earlier. Never mind. Uh, so look, Brandon Collins. Thank you. He just walked us through. What the hell? Here. Let me uh, let me go mobile real quick, bud. Go. All right, so appreciate you, bud. Where'd he go? What is going on, dude? He, he got mad and he left. He's like, All I'm right, out of here. So, so Brandon Collins, he walked us through the process of hot bottling. Unfortunately, you guys won't, the viewers and you guys won't be here when I bottle this because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this uncovered sauce. 
I'm not going to cover. I mean, I can put I can put saran wrap on it, but I want to leave a little corner open because you know the if you cover this completely and put it in the fridge, that's a that's a bacteria uh, playground to to just have fun. So you're going to want to I do it uncovered in my fridge for about four to six hours. Let it completely cool down. Once it completely cools down, then I bottle my sauces. It, the only That's thing I would add to that is, uh, is I, w I would leave it out of the fridge for about an hour first, just so it doesn't ruin the condenser on your fridge. But that's just oh, yeah. me. No, you're right. I appreciate that. He's absolutely right. You don't want to add something really hot to your really cold fridge. <laughs> <laughs> so leave it out. Let it cool. Stick it in the fridge for about three hours, three to four hours. Let it cool down completely. And then bottle that sauce in your disinfected, sterilized bottles. Make sure there's a proper seal on that bottle when you're done. That can be anywhere from, hold on. <laughs> that can be anywhere from one of these little tiny seals on a bottle. That's a seal. It's not USDA approved, but that's a seal. Uh, or <laughs> if you have... If you have plastic seals for your bottles, you just need to. Who's them. Big Booty? Let me let Brandon back in. My bad, dude. What's up, Big Booty? <laughs> big Booty. Who's Big Booty? My bad. Why are you Big Booty? Oh. So these are plastic seals. I will. I will fill my bottles up once the sauce completes <laughs> completely cools down. I'll fill my bottles up. I will put one of these seals on. I'll put the cap on and then I'll boil a vat of water. And I'll put this on the bottle and airtight seal this around the top. Easy day. And that's it. That's it. Super fun. That's it, guys. You just made your first bottle of hot sauce. Remember to always remember to keep sterilization in the front of your mind. You don't want to hurt yourself or you don't want to hurt your friends. Making sure yeah. everything is disinfected, all the surfaces, all the utensils. That's the biggest thing I can tell you guys. And all you got to do is get a boiling uh, boiling water, 250 degrees, disinfect everything you're using for the hot get sauce. Get a pH process. tester too, guys. It's not and a that oh, hard. I, was, well, I, was about to, I was about to get in that. We're about to pH test it right now. Where are you going? Oh, all right. So look, this is how... <laughs> You test the pH. This is test. how we do it. You this is how we tester. test it. You need a pH tester, guys. I have a pH <laughs> tester here. Do me a favor, guys. Don't stick this right into your pot of hot sauce. Get a little shot glass. Don't do it. Just, just don't. Like, I know you don't want to. Get a little shot glass. Get a little shot glass. I got a league of fire shot glass here. Go ahead and take a small sample of your sauce with a spoon or anything you want. Clean spoon. Clean, clean spoon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disinfect the spoon real quick in my boiling water. <laughs> so I'm, I'm dropping it in there. I'm going to hold it there for about 30 seconds and let it disinfect. Yeah. All right. Say your ABCs twice. You'll be all right. Take it out. Scoop a little bit of your sauce into a shot glass. And I'll taste it, too, as soon as I'm done doing this. So there's a little Hell bit of yeah. sauce. Take your pH tester. Calibrate Remember, it. What's the, hey, what's the safe number, guys? Under four. four. Under four. Let's test this out. We're looking at about 3.5. Nice. Hell yeah. Three point, yeah, 3.5 is what I'm looking at. My sauce is safe to eat. Who would have thunk? My sauce. And then after you're done, disinfect uh, disinfect that back with your disinfector like I did. You better than clean, damn it. <laughs> you better oh, like than clean. I, I, I can't mention disinfection more. I just can't. That's the most important part. It is. Right, so I made, I made a sauce. I got a little sample here. Let's try it out. <clears throat> the biggest part of making a sauce guys 
is tasting your sauce. Look the, at this. And the, sanitation. The, the consistency, I like it's a little I like it. It's got You're a good? good little consistency on it. It's a little thicker for you know, it's not like Tabasco. It's a little thicker, but it's got a good consistency. That's, a That's another delicious. reason why we use carrot in there because that'll help with the consistency of the sauce, the viscosity of it. Yeah. Wait till you try this, guys. <laughs> the black garlic pokes through on that. Hell yeah. Oh shit, yeah. And it's good. Heat. You get little you get little bits of those veggies and the carrots and onions, but it's not they're blended, so it's not like you're chewing on anything. But you How's can get the little, heat. The heat is not that bad. For me as a chili nice. head, it's about a it's about a one or a two. Sweet. Oh okay. uh, yeah. So anybody can enjoy this sauce, really. Hey, I'm nice gonna, table I'm sauce. Gonna try it real quick. Yeah, that's yeah. another yeah. <laughs> That'll be the test right there. She left. So actually, what Damn. I'm gonna do here? What I'm gonna do after tasting it? It's delicious. It doesn't need any more ingredients. It does need a little bit more water because when that cools down, it's gonna get real thick. Yeah, that's thicker than a snicker. That's another yeah. thing yeah, to keep in be, mind. It'll be really thick. So as your sauce cools, it will thicken. So I am gonna add a little bit more water to this. Just a little bit. How, how much you you add like a shot's worth? How much how much water are you add, Zach? Quarter add cup. Like a quarter cup. Quarter cup. Okay. Just like a uh, quarter yeah. cup to thin this up a little bit, because that's gonna when I, I can tell when it cools down, that's gonna be a thick sauce. So yeah, it's really up to you. What do you want the consistency of your sauce to be? Do you want it real thick to where you have to shake it out, or do you want it pourable? I kind of want this one in the middle. I think that's one of the reasons why I love like <laughs> rising smoke, like their <laughs> sauces so much is because the, the, like the, like the viscosity of every single sauce is almost always the same. It yeah. like, it, it flows exactly the same way, which is cool. You're not like surprised when you try to dump some out. It's like, you're like this, or you're like, Oh shit, I put too much out. Yeah. There we go. All right, so we did it, guys. We made a hot sauce for National Hot Sauce Day. How do you guys oh, yeah. think that? How do you guys think that went? Good, man. It, it went didn't great. Take that long, huh? About an hour. Took about an hour. To, that's, that's talking through it, though. About an hour and a half, you know, because you got prep time too, you know. Yeah, that's talking through. Well, it. and and about Zach, an with with the quantities that you used, you, they were none of them were like over a cup's worth on the product. Um, so let's, let's, how many bottles do you think you got out of that batch, brother? Oh, I, it's going to make a six bottles, six bottles. And you spent an hour. So anybody that wants to try this at home, think about an hour of your time being and you know, and not that much money and being able to add six bottles of hot sauce in your fridge. You know, it's, it's not a way, it's not a bad way to just put some product in your fridge for you to use uh, and also expand what you've been doing. Yeah. Thanks and if you want to make, hey. If you want to try this sauce out and you're making 12 bottles, multiply my recipe by two. Bada bing. If you want to make Easy. 18 bottles of this, multiply it by three and so on and so forth. So the this is probably the second most or maybe the third after sanitation. What's the third most important thing about the sauce? Naming it. What are you going to name it, bud? Uh, that's a very important part. <laughs> All right, first person that comments the name of this sauce and it, and it makes us feel good, we'll get the name. So we, got, go. we got six. We got six people watching. If anybody just start throwing names out of what this sauce could be, and all three of us will come together and be like, "That's a good one." I think it should be called the first annual Texas Hotspot Friday Night Fire uh, National Hot Sauce National Day Hot, hot Sauce. sauce, day hot sauce. <laughs> That's a hell of a name, dude. Yeah, man. Super, super <laughs> limited run. Hey, it's Katie Prettyman coming in as we finish. <laughs> hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, Beyond Black Seattle ass. Ass. Dude, We just made <laughs> hot sauce. Hey, we just made hot sauce. Go back and watch if you want. About an hour long. About an hour long. But, hey, the hot sauce is delicious. Goots Campbell tomato sauce. Nah. Man. Not, did, you didn't use Campbell's though. So. What's this? What the fuck is that? Oh, Fry. What is that? Fry, uh, oh, is that the acronym? National Hot. Uh, wait. 
National Hot Sauce Day. Hot Five Sauce minutes, Day. Seven says him. Oh, wait. <laughs> F.A. the Texas Hot Spot, right? A wait. F.A. Texas Hot Spot, it's, National Hot Sauce. I don't know. It's close. I don't okay, know. I think your acronym's a little off there. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Jay's dyslexia sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um I don't have a name for this. I didn't think of one. You should just call I mean, it obviously National you Hot Sauce Day Hot Sauce. Obviously, yeah. National Hot Sauce Day mm-hmm. Hot Sauce. There's only six. Oh, bottles, there you go. So. First annual Texas Hot Spot Hot Sauce Day. First hot annual sauce. Texas Hot Spot Hot Sauce Day Hot Sauce. Gooch boots. It. National I love Hot it. Sauce Day sauce. I like the first annual Texas Hot Spot Hot Sauce Day hot sauce. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I'm go with that. Say that twelve times fast. <laughs> the, I think. I think this is what we're gonna go with. I think I we're like gonna, and this is what. All right, so let's take a look at it one more time. This is our sauce. And it's nice. It's got a good consistency. I think I want to. I think I want to add more water to that. Add more water, man. That ain't you know. It's your sauce, bud. It's but, like it's 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 thick, but you know what? We're gonna let that cool down and see how it looks. If I have to, I'm there. Hey, if it. I have to, guys, this is a little known fact. If I have to, I can reheat that to save temperatures and add water to it. <coughs> Got it. So that's what it's called. We just made the first annual Texas Hot Spot Hot Sauce Day hot sauce. That's what it's called. Thanks, Crazy Jay. Appreciate it. I actually came up with that name, but. Or no, this one. The first annual Texas Hot Spot National Hot Sp- Sauce Day hot sauce. <laughs> oh, God. But five is. No, Brandon, you did come up with that, didn't you? You said that, didn't you? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, Brandon. Thank you, Crazy Jay, for coming together and naming our son. And just so you guys know, yes, I am in my bathroom taking a piss live on the spot. Don't worry. Don't worry. Sauce everything's already done. been sanitized. He's the not sauce, going back yeah, to drinking. Everything's been sanitized. The sauce is done. And yes, I'm <laughs> using no hands to take this. He's going to wash his hands to uh, bottle it up, too, guys. Don't worry. Oh, is that Mark. a chug? Let's take a chug to celebrate making a hot sauce on National Hot Sauce Day. Oh, just we me? Just made... uh, what do I have to chug here? We did just yeah, make our good. first annual Texas Hot Spot National Hot Sauce Day hot sauce. Crazy Jay, since you wanted to help name that, I might. No, I don't need stickers for this because I'm just gonna give them away. <laughs> I don't need stickers for this, bud. But I'm gonna. I am gonna give them away right now. Ready? All of them given away right now. Oh Dude, shit! Like all of these six sauces, or no five? I gotta have one for myself. Right, so you five. gotta keep one for yourself. That's another important rule. Keep one for five yourself. Five hot sauces being given away right now. Five hot sauces being given away. The first one. Goes to Brandon Collins for being yeah. here the whole time. The second one goes to Chris Pepper Baby Fisher for being here the whole time. You're going to get yourself a hot sauce. The next one, the third one, goes to Double N for being here the whole time. Oh, What's yeah. up, Double N? Don't think I didn't see you here. Don't think I didn't see you here. All right. The fourth one is going to be going to Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic for sticking around. Oh, so, Lander, I'm going to get with you after the stream, and you are going to be getting one of these hot sauces we just made. Travis gets one. Number and the fifth, and the fifth five. and final, the fifth and final one, of course, goes to who helped name it? Crazy, Crazy Jay. Jay. Crazy Ooh. Jay gets a hot sauce. Blah, 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 blah. So, the five people getting one of these hot sauces, Chris Pepper Bay, Brandon Collins, we got Double N who's been here, Groovy Lava Squirrel Medic, or Travis over as we know him, and Crazy J will get a chance to enjoy 
This well-made hot sauce. It's delicious, guys. I just oh, tasted yeah, it. I can't spice wait, to it. Man, this was a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> this Thanks, was guys. fun for sure. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we're going to cut this uh, live pretty sh- well. We're going to cut it because we're done. I appreciate everybody joining us. Congratulations. Oh, let's take a chug. You're right. Let's Bro, take a you're, chug. You're getting ahead of yourself there. Hold on. <laughs> let's not forget the chug. Let's not forget the chug to celebrate cooking a hot sauce. You're getting ahead of yourself. What Ooh, are you drinking on? I'll add a couple drops of tink to my beer. What are you drinking on? I got some raspberry blonde. Uh, I'm, I'm drinking some. I'm not gonna lie. My guilty pleasure beer is Mickey's. So I'm. What are you guys chugging? I got some Tangerine Express. I got some Raspberry Blonde from Ska Brewing. Oh, it's pretty good. All right, say hi real quick. Hey, Groovy oh, wants to chug. Hey, do you got a beer, Groovy? We can add you in real quick for a chug. Oh, uh, does ch- does Groovy want to come in? Can you send the link out there? I don't know. Can I hear? I don't know. Does he have a chug? Does he want to come in and take a chug with us? Does that Let's do that. Let me, here, hold on one sec. Let me let me uh copy and, this. Does he have time? Is he busy? He's a retired man. I don't know. Man. We'll find out. We'll He's find a retired out. man. I don't know. Shit, I got to do it on my phone. I hate, I hate not having control of StreamYard that. anymore. Death nut. Death nut? Yes, and you're bothering the stream again. Go outside and play or go in your room? Not Zach, you, Zach yes. you gotta add me, bro, to the admin of this shit. So I know, I know. Oh, like he says he's got time. Do let's, shit let's, like try this. To get him, let's try to get him in here. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Uh, I'm getting it right now, bud. <laughs> All right, we'll try to get you in here room. real quick for a chug, Groovy. Since you, since you did just win a bottle of hot sauce, you might as well come celebrate and take a chug. Boom. Boom. The there uh, is. link is in the comments. Link is in the comments. For you Facebook, might well sorry. And, you might as well Pro. come on and celebrate. I don't think he can see it because he's on YouTube. Oh, well then uh, hold on. Well, then hold on. I'll send it to him personally. Just copy that. Yeah, I don't think I have him personally. I'll send it to him personally. Give me one Way second. cool like that. Sorry, t- Travis. Is that your name? I don't know. Give me one, Travis. I'm going to send it to you. You can come join us for a... Well, I know he was in the service, and I know he just retired. I know a little bit about the guy. Babe, do you want to try this? How's the spicy chug? Want to try some? Yeah, man. I'll send him the StreamYard link. There you go, bud. Come on in. Join us for a little chug real quick. Come on in, buddy. Join us for a little chuggy. It's pretty good. Hey, does, do you guys know, does Brandon Joy smoke this? Uh, does he smoke his cheese? I don't know. It tastes like it's kind of smoky, bud. I, I don't think that'll work in a bong. He could. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sent him a link. We'll see if he pops on and takes a chug with us. We did it really. That was a nice stream. Uh, guys, if you're just joining us, if you're just joining the stream, uh, definitely go back and and watch watch it because we we had a great time cooking you guys sauce today. What's up, Groovy Lava Squirrel? Oh, yeah. What's up, guys? <laughs> oh shit, is that the new bar? Uh, yep. Hey, that's yeah, nice. That's the new bar. That is nice. nice. I'm still. Uh, you can break it in. You know what? That bar is groovy. It's a groovy First bar. Drink at the bar. <laughs> and since it is hot sauce day, I have a sour L with jalapenos, oh. pineapple, and honey. Hold on one second. I just drank that. Oh, yes. shit. Hold on. Hold we on. know that Hold beer. On. That Zach sour sent, beer. Zach sent Don't me one of those yet. all the way from Texas. Don't chug yet. Crazy Jay wants crazy. to come on. Oh, we're just getting the whole family in here. Hell Crazy yeah. Jay, uh, Crazy Jay also won a bottle of hot sauce. Why not? Let's get him on here, chug, and celebrate. It's National Hot Sauce Day. Celebrate. All right, Crazy Jay, I just sent you the link. Does it uh, feel so nice? I just sent you the link, hot Crazy Jay. Let's get you on here. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that was gonna, fun, man. That was a that was a good little. Uh, no, that was yeah, good. Was we, a, we, I think nice we little hit, educational video. I think we hit on everything that we needed to hit on for somebody at home to make a sauce. Like literally, and you can say, follow, like bring it to work and share it with their friends without killing them. 
But I, I was curious about the beet. I wonder if you could replace the carrot with beet since it's still both a root. And yeah. wonder if that would actually do a thickener essence of it, but also give it a different flavor profile. Bro, I'm I'm making a beet sauce because you said that. I'm not even gonna lie. I, go. That is my next project for sure. I know of yeah. one homeboy that made a beet sauce back in the day, and he called it the beets, and it was like a musically inspired sauce. Uh, do you guys remember uh, Adam Crawl Daddy Crawl Space Crawl? Adam Crawl, yeah, that guy. He, he made a that, that oh. beet sauce. Crazy Jay did pop in, but Wait. then he popped right back out. What was the uh, what was the band name in Doug? The Beats. Was it the Beats? Yeah, uh, yeah. The, the, the Beats. Jumping <laughs> on a trash can, jumping on a street sign. Yeah. Ooh wee ooh. Killer uh, tofu. on a trash can. <laughs> drumming on a street light. Some little voices calling me, calling you. Calling me. Some little voices <laughs> calling me, calling you. Calling me. Calling me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You just unlocked something there, bud. That's awesome, dude. Honestly, dude, that was my favorite shows growing up. That was a Nobody song. Nobody can fuck song. with Quill, man. <laughs> and he, hey, he called his best friend he called his best friend Skeet before Skeet was something else <laughs> alright quick What's trivia up, question what was the name of the dog Scooter Didn't it's a food screen yard acting a f oh alright so he said Scooter was his friend cool. Crazy Jay won't be joining us unfortunately the, the dog was the dog was pork chop pork chop dog. pork chop and Pat oh, Crazy Jay alright Let's All right, no crazy stag. Jay. Hey, thanks for joining us, uh, Groovy Live Squirrel Meg. This one's for you, buddy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> All right, everybody. I gotta get back to unpacking the house before my wife yeah, gets mad at me. We are about we're about to end the stream anyway. Thanks buddy. for joining us. We love you. Congratulations. I'll get later, the sauce out to you soon, bud. All right, I'll message you. All right, later, buddy. Later. Scooter is the best friend. I thought it was Skeeter. Ske oh, it is Skeeter. It's Skeeter. Yeah, it's Skeet Not Skeet Skeeter. It's Skeeter, and he calls <laughs> him Skeet. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, don't be don't be coming with don't be coming towards me with your freaking Doug knowledge. It's not Scooter, it's Skeeter, unfortunately. <laughs> it's Skeeter. Well, yeah. that was a success, man. That was a success, guys. We're actually about ready to wind this stream down. We cooked you a hot sauce. We shared with you all of the sterilization and safe processes to make this thing happen in your kitchen. Make sure that you follow what we showed you today. If you want to make a successful hot sauce, don't just go in there and start cooking. Oh, do it. Yeah, you got to I mean, follow what we showed you. You can just go in there and start cooking. Yeah, but no, we want to make Not sure safely. Because you know, you, you can eat it, everybody. Yeah, it's it's safely. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we were Obviously, we'll be back for Friday Night Fire coming up on Friday. <laughs> Enjoy Friday. Your enjoy your guys' work week. We love you guys. Enjoy football today. And as always, we will catch you.